JC Motors showing you how to install a Pro Taper throttle assembly. At JC Motors, you can ride with confidence and shop with confidence, knowing that we offer no hassle returns, life returns, and even a damage replacement offer. Go to jcmotors.com for all the details and you'll find out why over 310,000 motorcycle enthusiasts like yourself have purchased their parts and gear from us. Today, we've got Mike Schmall from Pro Taper showing you how to install a throttle assembly on this 2013 CRF 250. Thanks, Clint. Well, first off, you're going to want, why would we replace the throttle assembly? Well, most of the time it's going to be because of a crash, but in the case of you getting a new bike and you want to put something on that's considerably more durable, better uh, action, this is what you're looking for. This is the twister throttle from Pro Taper, and there's a couple unique features. Number one being the one you can see that it is a completely knurled um, billet aluminum throttle tube. So much, much more durable than the plastic one your bike comes with. Uh, the other two things that set this apart, and if you can see down in there possibly, there is a polymer bearing that's up front, and then also, biggest thing about this, why we call it the twister, is in the end, bear the end piece, there's actually a roller bearing in there. And what that does is insert into the end of the bar when you put this on, and a couple of advantages. Obviously gonna be much, much smoother throttle uh, action because it's not riding on the bar itself, it's riding on a roller bearing. The other thing is, it's a closed end throttle. So if you happen to fall down and you mash the throttle in during a moto or out on the trail, this is gonna be much, much more durable as far as getting stuck wide open or becoming unusable where the throttle won't turn anymore because it is a closed end throttle with a bearing. So it's quite a, like I said, quite a bit more durability um, and better action. So without that, with just saying that, I'm gonna show you how quick and easy it is to put this on. All you need for this is a eight millimeter wrench. You move this back. This is a cover. Most throttle assemblies, this is a Honda, but most of them are gonna be similar to this. Uh, this particular one has barrel adjusters here, and I'll show you what to do with those if, if it's even needed on this throttle assembly install. Most of the time it's not, if your throttle's adjusted properly. I recommend keeping this on the on any stock bike. This uh, throttle tube is pretty much mated solidly to the grip, which makes a great replacement in case something were to happen. You need one down the road. Throw it in your saddle bag or in your gear bag or your tool bag, and keep it for a later purpose. I don't recommend trying to get the grip off of that to use on your new throttle assembly. You'll just you'll destroy the grip. It won't be worth it anyway. So just keep that as a spare. Uh, grab your throttle, your new throttle. And the, the trickiest part about this is getting this all installed correctly. It sits down like this, the, the cables wrap around this and go up into this cam and go around and then out to the uh, carburetor. So you want to make sure that when you get these on, you get these on correctly. So first shorter one goes on the back side. Actually put it on first is a better idea. And you got to make sure with this throttle assembly that you do push it all the way on. If you notice that, see, goes right here. You want to, that's the bearing part popping in. It makes it nice and smooth. And this is the key to getting this thing installed correctly is you have to make sure this cable goes over this guide. If you don't, it won't close properly and it'll bind up. So make sure you give it a little elbow grease there and then it should all go back together nice and smooth. Put your two bolts back in.
If the case were that you didn't have any play here, you want to have just a small amount of play, you would use this barrel adjuster to either increase or decrease that amount of play. But other than that, you slide this back on, make sure you get a good seal, and you're ready to go. Got a brand new throttle, super durable, with the ball bearing inside. If you're looking for a grip install, we have that in another video, but at this point you would just install your favorite grip, and if you are looking for tips on how to do that and get a good grip install, we have a video for that too. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. As usual, we welcome all your questions. You can call us at 800-706-9476 or go to jcmotors.com, hit live support, and you'll find out why JC Motors is where riders get deals.